Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make, well, I'm personalizing Christmas pajamas. Um, they're actually for my family. Sometimes I make things for my orders or for friends. This is actually for us. Um, and I've been uh, sort of delaying it because I didn't know what to put on the pajamas. I wanna wear these pajamas all the time as well. So I didn't wanna make um, the vinyl be in a place where you know, it's gonna interrupt my sleep because we all need our beauty sleep. So I saw this one, I knew I wanted to put it in the pocket, um, but this is perfect. There's three of us in our family. If each of us will be one of these items. Um, naughty, nice, I tried. So anyway, I'm gonna show you where I got the file and all the different things that we can custom to change it up. So let's do that. Um, so I got the file on my favorite place, Creative Fabrica. This is what it started out as, right? So if you download it, what you want to do is you want to go and you want to unzip it. So it's going to come in like this. It's going to come in as a download and it's a zipped file. Most files that you buy on Etsy, Creative Fabrica, font bundles, they will all be zipped. So you want to double click on it to go inside and then it's another folder. So just open that one up. And these are the different uh, file types. So the one that we want is this one, this Microsoft Edge HTML document. I always just move it into my desktop. It's gonna give me this, cause I already did it. So just, um, normally you would just hit okay, but anyway. Um, so let's go into design space and I will show you how to upload it. So you're gonna go to upload. <clears throat> um, okay. I don't really want that. Hold up. Let's go. I don't think I saved it. <laughs> All right. We're going to design from the beginning, which is fine because you have to do it anyway. But I normally like to show you what I have and then um, recreate it. So. Um, so whenever it gives me errors in design space, I do just close out and come back in because I don't want to design a lot of things. Oh, I did save it. Gosh, sometimes, you know, when you're good, <laughs> uh, it makes me so happy. Okay, so here's the file. Um, but sometimes when it's glitchy, I just close out and reopen and hope for the best. I don't want to design, 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 and then go to save it and it's it's gone. And I should have known better because there were red flags all along the way. So it's one of those things. I'd rather just go out and come back in. So, okay, so let's customize this thing. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first thing is we're gonna go to upload. We're gonna upload that image. I've already uploaded it here, but I'm gonna show you how you would do it if you were bringing in a file for the first time. So you go to upload image, browse, and you gotta find your thing. So we dropped it into desktop and it was called, shoot, I don't remember what it was called. Give me a second. Um. It wasn't this, was it? No. Let's go back. Oh, naughty nice. Okay. Um, that's the other thing. You probably want to name it so that you can find it right away. Um, <laughs> I just kept it. Uh, so here we go. Naughty nice I tried. So you just double click on it. Here it is. And you can save it. All right. So click on it and then insert image. So I thought this file was so cute. I just wanted to make a few adjustments. So you can see this would be great if it was a big t-shirt because it has all these details and I wanted to make it different colors. I thought it was super cute. But I have a very small area that I'm doing it on. Specifically, the smallest is a size small in kids. So here's the pocket right here. Um, what I'm going to do, in, like I said, this is for from our family. So um, you will see it in the next video and you'll actually see pictures on Instagram. But the pocket was kind of small, but that's kind of where I wanted to put it. So my pocket is, it's a little bit over three and a half inches. So you can make it three and a half inches and it would fall inside the seams. So it's three and a half inches wide. And then um, a little bit shorter than three and a half inches in height. So when I 
made this small, I had to lose all this cute stuff. So <laughs> let's look at this though. So the cool thing, I thought originally when I saw this file, it was going to be, um, I thought all the colors would be welded together as one item. So I was gonna show you how to slice it and change the colors, but this file is awesome. It's all separated. I can literally just pick on this one and say, I want this star to be blue and you can make that particular star blue. So sometimes you luck out with the files that you get. So I'm gonna change it to, um, no, I'm doing silver, okay. So because I had to get rid of a lot of things to make it fit in this pocket, I got rid of the stocking. So let's ungroup this. So this one fits for my daughter's PJs. So this is three and a half inches by three, so it's perfect. I'm gonna have these stars, they're gonna cut out separately and I'm gonna put the stars in when I'm done. Like I'm just gonna iron it on, I'm gonna pick off. I know I'm gonna use Glitter HTV. So with Glitter HTV, it, it's a little bit thicker. It almost feels like a fruit roll up from back in the day when we were eating it. So you can lift it up. I mean, there's nothing intricate about this, right? It's just a bunch of stars. So you can just lift up, put it on your pajamas, and then put a Teflon sheet over and iron it down. So I'm gonna be hand placing these stars. So that's why the stars are up here. The reason why I did it this way was I was trying to make this as big as possible so that it's easy to read. We can take pictures and everyone can see what, what our pajamas are all about. Because if you look at this, this is um, almost 0.8 inches high, so about this big. So naughty and then nice and then I tried. So the whole thing is like that. Um, all right, so let's, I'm gonna show you what I did. So I basically got rid of all these little swirly things because there just wasn't enough room. Um, and then I grouped these things together and made them red. Um, but in the picture, I didn't realize this, you can ungroup this and you can make this green so they look more like hollies. And I did two shades of green so you could do that and kind of have it all around. Um, I sort of lost that because I forgot what the original looked like. I thought I was keeping so much of this, but it ended up being so different in the end. Um, I didn't want the check mark because I thought it was like a little on the boring side. I found an elf's hat to do that and I really wanted to do Rudolph. Because if you remember from my other videos, I did this on, um, this is gold HTV and it's the outline of a reindeer with a red nose to, um, to customize ribbon. So I wanted to do Rudolph in here, but by the time we shrunk it down, Rudolph was gonna be so teeny tiny that I went with the elf's hat. This gave me still um, some detail, but not, nothing difficult to read. Like I'm always looking for, especially for my own projects, low maintenance. I don't want something so intricate where I just wanna, you know, bop myself on the head. Um, this is gonna show the design still, even though the hat is half an inch. <laughs> it's gonna be small, but you can still see it. So, all right, let's start deleting some of these things and we'll do I think I'm gonna to have to measure mine and my husband's to see how big the pocket is. Um, but the cool thing is if you're making three, what you can do is, well, once we make this one, I'm just gonna duplicate it. But the nice thing is that you can go into color sync. Oh, first of all, I didn't like this this font. It's so funny, I like I said, I thought I kept a lot of this design, but what's nice is, um, not designing from scratch. So I still like to find uh, files that are similar. Like I didn't need to look up these check boxes. You know, it's just easy to change the color and I like the look and feel of it. I just didn't like all the details. All right, so here, this is how you get rid of your check mark. So you see over here, it's grouped together. Just select this one and you can delete. Um, okay, so on, let's see how big my pockets are for an adult size one. So give me a second, let's see, this is the small and the adult. 
and it is, it, I could probably do 3.75 inches, so it's not that much of a difference. Okay, so actually what I'm gonna do then, well, I wanna show you how to do this. So these are the different colors. If you're doing multiple, you can just go to Color Sync. I didn't know this for a long time, but you can just drag and drop your colors. So I wanted this to be gold glitter cardstock, I mean gold glitter HTV. So I'm gonna drag my black check boxes into my gold. And then um, I'm not gonna do this green one, I'm gonna do red. And then it might be easier to grab these stars and move them out of the way. And that way I can do all these little cute little dots red. It's up to you. I Now I'm wondering if I even have the red dots because they're so random. They're not hollies anymore, right? So I might just get rid of all the red dots. I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so let me grab these three boxes. We're gonna move it down here. We're going to move, um, with Naughty Nice and I tried, go to text because if you're starting this from the beginning, I used Lemon Crush, and I believe this font is also on um, Creative Fabrica. So if you don't have an account with Creative Fabrica, I highly recommend um, trying them out for a month. Um, and seeing if you like it because I love it. I love having all the fonts um, with commercial usage. Um, and I like having all the files, like the images, because in design space, if I like an image, which I also have access because it just the ease of being able to use these images while I'm designing is nice. But the problem is if I liked something and I was doing a cake topper or a banner, I like to do the outlines and create all the different layers. I can't do it if it's a design space image because I can't download it and upload it into Inkscape. But if you have a membership with Creative Fabrica, then you can download any of those images, um, which to me, I mean, that's kind of a pain in the butt if you think about it, but, don't download all the images. You only download as you need them, right? Like I don't need a hundred million images. I just need three per project, let's say. But then I can go and I can download and create as many offsets as I want and then bring it into design space. So anyway, that's my little spiel. If you end up liking it uh, or you wanna try it for a month, my discount code is 30% off the memberships every month. So as long as when you purchase it, you enter in the code, you, the useless crafter 30, it's 30% 30 off every time it charges you. So anyway, so I feel like I'm probably gonna have a lifetime membership, but anyway. Um, all right, so this I typed in, right? I like this a lot, but this is where I didn't like it. Do you see how the space here is all good, but then the space between the H and the T and the Y, I feel like it's just, too wide, right? And same thing with the eye chart, there's too much space. So go and go back to your layers. This is currently active, right? You can tell because it's um, a darker shade of gray here. We wanna ungroup it. So we're separating it and I'm gonna move this T over by myself as well as this Y. And then this is okay. This, I'm gonna just move the whole thing over a little bit, okay. So, um, ah, and then once I move it, I'm actually going to just, even though this is a print font, I'm just going to weld it. It's going to, um, cut it in order. I could just attach it, but I don't know why I, I like to just weld it because then it becomes one line item. The words I tried is now one image. So you can see it's only one line item across here. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put it up here, put it down here, put it down here. And then I am gonna use the same elf hat because I thought I was gonna get much more room and bring in the reindeer, but it doesn't look like, it. oh, let me go find it. So let's go to images. And I originally searched for a Santa hat. 
I wanted to find something Christmassy. I thought about a candy cane, but I really like this elf's hat. It, I think it's, everyone would recognize it. Um, so here it is. And I have access because it's green, so it's free. Insert your image. And I used to, gosh, it used to be so hard for me to customize anything, like even the slightest change, right? Like I didn't want it to say elf. All you need to do is you can go here, select the green and go to contour and hide all. And all of a sudden you have a full green portion. I used to, I mean, it's embarrassing to even say this. I mean, I guess I should be happy that I even had a workaround to, you know, get rid of the word but I would bring in a bunch of circles and cover this up and weld it. Oh my God, just like the time. <laughs> so let's go to contour. And then on this one, oops, hide all. Yeah, that's gonna leave us the hat. And then look, easy peasy, right? So let's make sure that this fits. Now, I have not sized this, so I don't know, but it doesn't matter. I'm sizing this elf to, I mean, this elf's hat to fit inside here. Let's see if I can. So now when I look at this whole image, it's three, wow, it's <laughs> the right size already. So I'm gonna change it to 3.75 because I don't want to get onto the seams. Okay, so this is one. And I want, so I'm doing, let's see, I'm doing two different shades of green. So the elf's hat is a lighter green. And then the words are gonna be a dark green. And then there's my hat. Okay, I guess I'm gonna just duplicate this. Although no. I'm not. What I'm going to duplicate is, I'm actually just gonna get rid of all of this. And I'm gonna duplicate this. So I want my stars in a silver, it's a multicolor silver. So it's got like little sparks in it of different, different pops of color. Um, I'm just gonna duplicate this and just have a bunch of stars. Did not duplicate. Okay, there I did. Okay, so I've got three sets of stars. I can hand place them wherever I want to. Um, let's look at this. So this is mine. Let's duplicate this. And then my husband's gonna be naughty. <laughs> and Charlotte's gonna be, I tried. So here we go. Now, I'm. this is gonna be slightly smaller and it's gonna be okay. I do want it smaller because I want, let's see, what are we talking about? 3.4, oh. Okay, well, I showed you how to make it. I'm gonna make them all the same size because I don't wanna have to think about like which one is which. So let's, um, well, actually, since I'm doing that, hold up, I'm gonna do this. Okay, so we have one, and we're gonna make it three times. Okay, so now I'm gonna save it. And that was fast, right? But you can, like I said, you can make make this way more fun than just a checkbox. Um, let's go to make it. I'll show you the how to make multiple images. Now this is important. This was not a big deal because it was just three t-shirts and it didn't have that much detail, especially because I welded the words. But as you get more a more detailed design, and let's say I wanted to do three copies, do not attempt to do three copies in design space unless like you were doing different sizes or whatever, because it's really gonna slow down your system. It's so much better to do one and then go in here and type three and apply and everything gets um, copied. So here are my stars, here are my check boxes, my little, my little elf's hat. I, I think I might just do something like this. Cause I mean, it's the same thing, but <clears throat> I feel like it's easier to, 
I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, here are the words. Don't forget, we need to actually, let me go back. You need to mirror because everything is being ironed on. I mean, this doesn't matter, but what happens is you start to say, this one doesn't matter, this one matters. When I'm ironing, doing HTV, everything gets mirrored because I just don't want that to be the mistake. And then the only thing that's left, the hats. Okay, mirror. This is a super easy project and that was it. I hope that was helpful. Please let me know, comments. You hate it, you love it. More projects like this, uh, something different, a special project that you have. You can put all the details here, but you can also email me the exact file if you want me to work on that file. It is anan at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, thanks guys.